Greetings from Dallas, Texas. We are entering into Thanksgiving season this week, and I want to share some thoughts with you concerning a question that I'm going to present right now. Do you have a reason to be thankful? I'm reminded of Psalm 136, verse 1. I'll give thanks unto the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. You know, the Americans have been celebrating Thanksgiving since 1621. In fact, uh, Edward Winslow, the first governor of Massachusetts, records that there were 90 Native Americans and 53 pilgrims at the first Thanksgiving when they were celebrating uh, the harvest that God had given them uh, in the new land. And Thanksgiving has been celebrated ever since uh, this time. In fact, George Washington in 1789 declared the first, first official Thanksgiving. And that was the first year he was uh, president of these United States. And ever since then, we've been celebrating. In fact, in 1863, uh, President Abraham Lincoln proclaimed this Thanksgiving and praise to our bene benevolent Father who dwelleth in the heavens. And he said, every fourth Thursday of November, all America will celebrate Thanksgiving. I'm reminded of the words of O. Henry. There is one day that is ours, Thanksgiving Day. It's the one day that is purely American. Isn't that cool? The only celebration in this United States that other nations don't, don't have. So, I know we've been going through difficult times with the COVID shutdown and whatnot. And I don't know what your current situation is, your health situation, your employment situation, what's going on in your life. And I wouldn't presume that things have been going well for all of you. I know that some are doing better than others. But in the midst of all this, I have some thoughts about what people are going through in the rest of the world. And I want you to think about their situation, especially as we enter into this season of Thanksgiving. I ran across this article in Charisma Magazine a while back. And they listed 10 things for us to think about uh, as Americans especially during the, the season of Thanksgiving. First of all, I want you to think about clean water. The next time you open up a, a cap of water or go to your sink, remember that one eighth of the world does not have clean water. That's 900 million people. They have to go out and find water in one form or another and bring it back. Number two, do you have a bathroom? Do you have a bathroom? How about number three, do you have electricity? Do you have electricity in your home? Do you realize that 1.6 billion people, a quarter of humanity, don't even have electricity? Again, do we have that and do we take that for granted or are we thankful for it? Number four, do you have a roof over your head? Uh, approximately 1 billion people on this planet live in the slums with, with no house, no roof, no covering. That many people living in slums. Number five, is there food on your table? According to this report, 22,000 people die every day due to malnutrition because they don't have enough to eat. 790 million people in the developing world are chronically undernourished and don't have food. Number six, do you, do you have a stove? Do you have a stove? 2.5 billion people in the world use other sources of fuel such as charcoal or or animal dung, but they don't have a stove. They're cooking on open fires. How about number seven? Do you have a regular income? Do you realize that 80% of the population live on less than $10 a day? $10 a day. 80% of the world, the population. How about number eight? Did you go to school? Listen to this figure. Nearly a billion people entered the 21st century unable to read a book or sign their own name. A billion people. How about this? Are you generally healthy? You know, Americans face a litany of diseases. You know, 12 million Americans are battling cancer right now as I'm talking to you. But if you look at the world statistics, people are dying right and left of a litany of things. In fact, every year there are 350 to 500 million cases of malaria, 1 million fatalities, mostly in, in Africa. Number 10, are you free to worship God? Do you realize that more than 400 Christians die every day in this world for their faith in Jesus Christ? Many of them are in Islamic countries. 
you know, another area where this is uh, growing is in North Korea. But there are many people that stand up for their faith, bearing witness to Jesus Christ, and, and die. Now listen, I know we're living in tough economic times. But I urge you, don't, don't, don't complain. Be thankful. We've, we've got so many blessings in this country that we take for granted. And when you give thanks for what you have to God, God gives you a supernatural attitude adjustment. He brings to remembrance what you do have, and he brings you to a place of, of thankfulness. When you thank God for all he's given you, acknowledging that you don't deserve his goodness, our grumbling, your grumbling melts into gratitude, and our impatience turns into praise. Let me read this quote from John Clayton. Thanksgiving is a time when the world gets to see just how blessed and how workable the Christian system is. The emphasis is not on giving or buying, but on being thankful and expressing that appreciation to God and to one another. However, listen, I would be absolutely remiss if I, if I did not mention the most important blessing that you and I have. What's that? The ultimate blessing is our relationship to God through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Jesus is the ultimate blessing in our life that connects us to our Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ. And I'm reminded of the words of St. Paul in 1 Corinthians 15, 57. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. As you're on the threshold of Thanksgiving, I want you to remember that regardless of what's going on in your life, you have a God that loves you, uh, that's with you, and he's given us so many blessings. That list of 10 things that I read to you that people don't have around the world, you know, most of us have. And for that, I, I want you to say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for what I have. And, and let's pray together that the coming year, 2021, will be the best year ever. 2020 has been a, a tough year, and, and we've struggled. But we're going to believe and pray that God, we're going to press in that 2021 is going to be an awesome year. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving, wherever you're at, and with whom uh, you're celebrating. Go in peace and serve the Lord.